Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, The Blood Samurai. My name is Sam and we're getting we're back playing Mindustry. So it's been a while. We're gonna be starting a completely new run. Um and seeing as uh people want to be tortured uh once again with the way that I play this game. Um you know, I figured I'm just gonna keep doing the things that I was doing and you guys are just gonna have to suffer through it. Um, is my audio working? Sound? Everything's up? Okay. Uh, let's check out, check out the tech tree. We got a turbine condenser, plasma cord, duct. You can get a beam node, duct router, duct router, duct bridge at some point. We can get that. Um, so we already got some things unlocked. Um, we'll get this plasma bore eventually. For now, let's just put that down, and then we can start, you know, generating some resources. So let's just put this, like, right there. Um, you know, the way that I'm doing this is probably already annoying some someone, um, but that's what I live for. So let's just go with that, and then let's go with that, and, uh, hold on, let me, let me... Stop doing what I was doing. Um, let's let's do that and let's uh, let's bring this out to like right there. Then we could have one right there, and then we could have a duct going out this way, going into there. And then I do want to have some of these guys like that. So then, obviously, we need to provide them with power, too. Um, so we could just do that. And then we could have the ducts connect to those. Have that like that. And then now we have uh, the beryllium all, you know, generating there. And then we could get this guy like that. Have a guy there. Have a guy there. And then have a guy there. And we can do a little bit of this. And then we should be able to connect everything up. Oh, wait, you know what? I could have a guy here as well. And I will. Because I know that's probably going to annoy someone that I have a guy right there. But I'm going to do it anyways. I'm actually going to put um, that there and then I'll put that there. So then I can run the ducks behind and then have it like this. And then that should be enough to carry everything, right? Yeah, carry to, to transport all those resources. Okay, we're good. Let's take a look at the tech tree. Okay, now we got everything on the tech tree. I think this is the button. Yeah, that's the button for the tech tree. Okay, then there's some graphite over here. And we can just do a bit of that. I mean, it doesn't hurt to do that. Um, we can just do a bit of this bit of this. Oh, okay. Well, slowly building that. Um, and then we can get a power source down uh, probably like right here. Right here would be fine. And then we could bring this down to like here. Power that bad boy up. Or actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna do it right here. So then I can just do like this. Do this. This. Do that. And then I can do boom, 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 boom. Now with 
just because of how much there is, I'll probably separate it into two pipelines. Just because there is a lot of graphite that I'm collecting over here. Although it probably, I mean, with just one, it should probably be enough. And yeah, let's just stick it. Let's just put it back on one. Okay, and all the all that graphite's being collected. Now I can get a cliff crusher, silicon art, um, furnace. And now we could start, um, let's get some more power, just in case. But, uh, yeah, we can get a, uh, silicon arc furnace here soon. And while I'm doing this, let's connect this up and connect this up. I think that connects both of them up, right? If not, then I'll do that. All right. Okay, now we can have this uh, silicon art arc furnace. Have them like right there. And then we'll have a duct router. We'll have that go like that, have one like that, have it go like that, then we could have this guy outputting here. Oh wait, that doesn't go in there, my bad. It's supposed to be sand, that's right. My bad. I got it sand, that's supposed to be going in there not not what I was doing okay there we go and while we're at it we could just have this branch off And have it go like that. Is it getting enough sand? Not quite. That's the wrong thing. Mm. Let's just do that. And then I'm going to be annoying. And I'm going to do that. Even though I know I hate, I, people hate it when I connect. When I put duck bridges and things like that. When I connect those up, then oh my gosh, people lose their mind. But it's too freaking bad. We're doing it this time and I'm going to do it probably more in the future. There we go. Now that's all connected up. This should be getting enough sand. Yeah, that's, that's getting more than enough sand. Actually, the sand isn't even being collected. So there was literally no point in me actually branching that off. But it was the thought that counts. Okay. Okay. Now we just need to build a tank fabricator. So now this, I, ju I believe just, what, it, what do you need? Okay. So 40 beryllium and 50 silicon. And obviously it needs power as well. So we could have like this go there and then have this go here. Um, that's producing sand, so let's just get rid of that. Yeah, we can just get rid of that guy, too. So we need more beryllium. Um, but you know what? It's fine. Let's just do that.
do that. Okay. That works fine. Okay. Uh... There we go. Units are effective, but turrets provide... Turrets require ammo. Okay. So, now we're gonna end up having turrets. But I actually need to research the turrets, right? Yep. A breach. And we get beryllium walls. We need a lot of beryllium for that, though. So, let's go back to, uh, oh. Oh. Let's go back to doing what I was doing, then. Let's do that. Okay. I don't, I mean, I could have a thing right here, but there's not really a way... Like, I could put a, a, a miner, a plasma bore right there, but there wouldn't really be any way for it to actually receive power. Or, I mean, and I couldn't really extract the resources from it anyway, so there's not really, yeah, a point in me doing that. I think everything is pretty optim pretty much fully optimized, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think there's any other way for me to optimize anything else in here. So, yeah, I think we're good. Okay. Right. Yeah, now we have turrets. And let's get the large beryllium wall. Not to be mistaken with the Berlin wall. Is that not a joke I should be making? Probably not. Um, okay, well, I'm thinking of, like, I feel like this would be a good choke point. Okay. Oh, well, yeah, like I said, I think this is going to be a good choke point. So I could put, like... Maybe, like, right there. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Having walls kind of go through here. And then I could have, the like, a breach, like, in the middle here. Can they go over wall, around walls? No. Okay. They do not have a way of going around the walls. So I'll, I'll probably, I'll have to put a hole in the wall, probably like over here or something. I could have a hole. So I could have like a turret here. And I'll put a turret, no that's not a good spot for it. Put a turret like... Like in the middle here. So then there's room for these guys to like go through and if I if I want to push them out then they can go out this way. Okay. Let's go with like this. There we go. Place um Oh, I already put large beryllium boss. I have to build I have to build five of them. Okay. Let's do that. Oh I okay, I had to build six in total. Let's do let's do that. And then and now there's enemies approaching. Can they shoot over the wall? That that's another question that I have. Can they go okay, can they can go over ducks? Which is good. I'm not entirely sure how these things work, so I had a few concerns. 
I'm probably going to get rid of some of these cliff things because obviously I don't really need this many. They're able to shoot all the way over there? Are you kidding me? Okay. Now the enemy is vulnerable. Let's counterattack. Let's go this way. I'm assuming I can go out this way, right? Go up this way and then go around. Actually, let me... Let me... Let me open this up a little bit more. And then I could have a turret here. Let me do this. I'll do I'll do something like this. Why are you backing up? Where are you going? Where are you off to? Yeah, you guys just start, like, destroying things up there. You guys just do your own thing. Can, can you guys just start destroying things, or do I actually have to keep... Because I have to keep leading them around. Well, I guess just destroy the core, why not? Okay, nice. Now I can put my own core down. Okay, I need more beryllium, though. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna... Oh, excuse me. Um... We're just gonna have it directly go straight to the core, because... I'm assuming... Yeah, see, there is beryllium and stuff for me to mine out around here. So... Jeez, this is a big area, though. Might be a little difficult to defend. But, in the meantime, I should be able to destroy, like, these things, right? Destroy the walls. Get some resources back. Okay, you know what? Forget it. Let's just put this down. Let's focus on getting the walls later. And focus on mining up some resources. Anything up here? Nope. Okay. Seems like it's just this way. Yeah, just over here. This is the only area where enemies can come from. Okay. Well, immediately let's do this. I think that's fully optimized, okay.
Okay, hold on. Then do that, and then have this go all the way up to there. Now, it should carry enough resources. I don't think it's going to produce too many, right? Yeah, we're good. Is there any, more, any other way to optimize this further? I don't think so. Doesn't look like it. Okay. That part is fully optimized now. Let's connect to that that up. Oh, I'm supposed to be setting up defenses. Um, yeah, I didn't really do that. I have some 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 units over here, but that's that's basically all my defenses, though. Let's move them up a little bit. Because I don't want the I don't want enemy units getting too close and then start targeting some of my buildings. So I'm gonna move things up a little bit. Move these guys up a bit more. So when enemies do eventually come to attack, then my my buildings aren't gonna get targeted. One, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, that is that is one nine or er, uh, nine eighty production. Surprised there's no enemy units showing up. But okay, that's fine. Actually, you know what? Let me um, let me have this be where units are produced. Okay, and there's some graphite down here. So I can use this stuff here to mine it up. Now there's not a good way of optimizing any of this. So I'm not really gonna try. I mean, that's like the most optimal way. Otherwise, you're gonna end up with things blocking each other. So, and obviously that's not good. Um, let me actually put this closer. I can actually put everything closer, because why not? It's not like it really affects anything if I have it all like right up close. Never mind, it does kind of affect things. There we go. Now it's fine. Okay, let's do do that. Okay. There we go. Now we're clicking all the graphite. Now we're going to be good on graphite, pretty much. Not really anything to worry about here. Um... See, anything I can spend my resources on? Nope, not currently. Unless I want to get another, like, tank fabricator, but I don't know. That probably isn't necessary, at least not at the moment.
Or you know what? I'm gonna connect up this down here. Ah, oh, dang! Just barely can't can't connect it. That's fine. So yeah. Now it's got more storage and everything is going to be powering everything. So now we don't need to worry about anything not having enough power. It all just will be on the same network. Sharing power. Uh oh, okay. We don't we don't want to be facing two turrets at the same time. It'd be better just to deal with one at a time. Especially when they have like piercing, which is not good. Is that, is that all the turrets they have? Seems like it. Okay. Let's go with that. Should be able to destroy that soon. And then just in case, I'll bring up some more, some more of these tanks. Is there any more beryllium, or is that it? I think that's it. Um, okay, yep. So, Sector is captured. So, we can basically stop the production of the stealths. I don't... We don't really need those. We could do with a little bit more silicone, though. Actually, I'm gonna... I'm gonna have it, like, right here. Okay. And then we could have like some cliff crushers over here. And we could do this. spots for that stuff, but it's, it'd still do something, I guess, like this. And then we could have it go out like this. go down like this, have it go that way, have it go that way, and now that's doing that, now we need that to there, have it go like that, and then we can start outputting this, have it go there. We need more sand. Is there anything we'd need more of? I think we have enough sand. Yeah, there's plenty of sand that's being produced so far. Or is there? Actually, I don't think there is. No, there isn't. There isn't. There isn't. There's not enough sand. Not enough sand. I repeat, not enough sand. Okay, let's add some more. Let's get more sand in here. Okay, there we go. Now, 
that should not be enough, okay? Okay, let's get a bunch more sand, apparently. Apparently, that's what we need, we need more of right now. Okay, there we go. Now we got a bunch more sand just kind of piling in. Now, is this enough? I think so. Yeah, this seems like it's enough. Yeah, now it's starting to back up and everything. Okay, we're good on sand. Honestly, all of our resources actually are fully... fully maxed out, so... This is where we are currently. Let's let's launch over to here. Is there any more resources? Anything like that? Any okay. Let's go with let's go here. Let's launch from here and go here. Now we're on another place. Oh, now we have okay, we have a setup already prepared for us. There's a few Uh Actually no, I can't really do that. Well, I can, but it wouldn't make sense to. That's the only thing that I can actually do that's a little bit different. There we go. Uh, okay, so we need tungsten. We need, and we need to move that to the core. And that's this stuff, I'm guessing? This stuff on the floor? Yep, okay. So what do we need to be able to extract the tungsten? Probably another thing. Uh, Kinesis vet gases into water, consumes power. Okay. Impact drill. When placed on ore. Oh, okay. Uh... Junction. Okay, we don't have enough beryllium at the moment. So, and we need what's it? What is it? Uh, impact drill. So I need I need silicone. Okay. We have this stuff over here producing graphite. So now we just need put down some cliff crushers. It doesn't produce as much as this stuff. Oh, okay. Let's get um, this silicone arc furnace. Let's put that, this like up here. Let's have this branch out a little bit and have it plug in there. And then we can get, we can have this stuff like here. And then, while we're at it, have that go like that. And then, have that go like that. Then we could have this here. And then that gets connected there. Definitely need to get some more cliff crushers going, though. There we go. Actually, I could have just I could just do that, and that works too. Do that. Okay. Oh yeah, and I need to have it extract. Okay. That's my bad. But there we go. And I'm hoping that it's producing enough um, sand. And while I'm at it, I hope it's producing enough graphite too. But if not, then we could just expand our graphite production.
You know what? Our beryllium is actually the problem right now. But is there really any other place to... Okay, never mind. There's places to extract beryllium. That seems really high up, though. Like... I don't know. Feels a little dangerous going this far up. Just for some patches of beryllium. Go with this. And that'll, yeah, that'll do that. Okay. There we go. Okay. And then we could bring this over to here as well. And then we could also use this as a place to set up um, defenses if necessary. So like I could have this be like a um, point in which I like I set up like turrets up here and use these as ways to uh, to uh, supply ammo. What does providing water do? Oh, it increases the fire rate. Oh, okay. What does this do? Condenser. Oh, you have to put it on. Oh, but it. So these things produce power and water, but this thing uses power, but produces water. Well, how much? How much water does do these things produce? Five. I mean, that seems like it's perfectly okay. Like I don't really think I need more than that much water. I don't. I'm not going to be using that much. Oh yeah, I should probably be powering these things. Kind of forgot about that. Let's connect that up, and then we could have that go up like this and then that, and then come down like this. And go like that, and then have this kind of do something a little bit similar. It's going to follow the pattern of back here, and then connect there. And then this is going to empty out into here. And then hopefully, yeah, eventually it's going to drain out, and then... And then it'll be a steady supply. Steady flow. Okay. Get that now. Can get that. Get the radar. What does a radar do? Um. Gradually it covers to raid an enemy units in a larger radius. Oh, okay, that's cool. Oh, more beryllium, more tungsten, another power source as well. Nice. Does that mean I could just hook up, like, a radar right here? And it'll just, like... Yep, okay. Nice. Hope that works. Okay. I'll take it. Oh, now there's another power source. Another radar. Put him there. And then I can put a radar there. Just for the sake of being able to see everything that happens out this way. 
and maybe a radar over like here or something as well. I don't know, just for the sake of having it. We can do that. Okay. I haven't even grabbed this tungsten yet. I probably should. Game wants me to. Does that mean I should do it? Eh, maybe. Now, should I optimize it? And, like... Uh, or should I just... Let's do let's let's do it the optimal way. So I could do that next, and then have one there. So if I'm doing one there, I'm trying to figure out the most optimal positions for these things. Not saying that all of these are going to be used, but like if anything, they're probably not all going to be used. Let me just connect it all up. Oh, excuse me. My bad. Let's have all of these guys just start sending water over. Okay. That should work the way I think it does, right? Yeah, probably. Um. That probably works. Yeah, seems like it, it's working. Um, yeah, I must say, one thing I am con currently concerned about are defenses, so actually I'm probably gonna start building, because I just have a slight feeling that things are gonna start going haywire as soon as I... Okay, so that's where I can put that, and set that there, I'm gonna... Okay, that was kind of useless, but I think that's the right spot for it. So yeah, we're going to have this whole part. Okay. Well, I guess then we'll go with, like, this. Maybe. How's that look? Let's just go with this. And then I could have a couple of guys here. Uh, there's a tungsten wall. So eventually we can get that going. I'm just kind of preparing my defenses just in the case that like if when I do the tungsten thing, because I'm just kind of thinking like, well, there's probably going to be enemies that show up. So... Oh, okay, game froze for a second. Okay, we're good.
But instead, I think what I'm... Okay. Let's do... Oh, that's cool that it, like, will automatically separate it. Let's have another guy, like, in the middle. Or, like, a couple of guys in the middle or something. So there's... Hold on. Oh, my, my OCD. I was gonna say ACD. Um, one, two, three. Um, one, two, three. So that would go there. Nope. Go here. One, two, three. Yeah, okay, we're good. And then we can have this wrap back around since we don't really need the extra, just, just during the time that we don't need the extra resources, we could just have it kind of wrap back around. Just so they're still, you know, producing resources, but these guys are going to constantly be filled up with uh, ammo anyways. So, why not? Okay, we are prepared. Now it is time to send uh, this stuff. should work right yeah now this has power and water and the drill speed is one and I'm hoping that this is enough you know what I'm actually gonna do this instead so then I can have it be like, where, why would I do that? I should do this instead. That gets best of both worlds. Okay. Um, liquid router. There we go. This is just a regular, this is, okay, equally to all sides. So yeah, there we go. And then we could have that go there and then have that put water into this compact drill. Now this compact drill just needs power, which I can get from there, and then I can just put that there. So now that's going at 0.58%. Now does that input, yeah. Okay. Maybe it would have been better to do it a little bit differently. Now that I'm thinking about it, probably would have been better. I don't know. I'm going to do that, though. I'll let this water drain out. Or actually, you just do that. Have it pump all that water into there. Is 
Is it not? Why is it not doing? So it's supposed to be doing it on all sides, right? Oh, okay. There we go. Yeah, see, this is why I did this. Because I had a feeling things were going to get a little out of hand. So yeah, now all the water is being collected, I think. All my power sources have water. Um, actually, let me, I can remove this. And then... And then I can, oh, okay, well, I'm just wasting all the water, but it's fine. There we go. Now this one will also have its water being taken. Okay. Now let's get tungsten wall. Ooh, a large tungsten wall would be nice. Oh, I need more tungsten. Oh, oops, okay. I didn't mean to do that. I mean, I guess I could might as well just buy these things. I have so much, so many resources, like canvas, why not? See, are, do we have enough power production? Not really. Um, our stored power is going down. Definitely not a good sign. Um, I'm kind of rethinking. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna do these impact drills a little bit differently. I think how I have them set up right now is not actually optimal. It would be optimal if, if I had enough power and water, but I have limited power and limited water. So I think trying to get as much out of them as possible is actually probably the better way of going about it. Let me just shut that down. Okay. So instead of doing it the way that I was doing it, let's do it like this. Because with three of them, I was losing power. So with two of them, I shouldn't be losing power. Theoretically. Practically, we'll find out how this goes. Why does this never want to work? Interesting. That is very strange. But whatever. So yeah, now the drill speed is increased, my power consumption is holding steady, uh, and we're generating more tungsten than we were before. So I think we're, I think we're in a good spot. Now if I were to try to put down another one, not sure how that would really go. Actually, let me test something. So if I have it at, at, a, at a, on a 0 0.08, right? Does it consume the same amount of power? So that's going down to like a, to like a negative 50, right? And that's, and that's drilling at 0 0.08, okay? Now, if I put it at a 0 0.058, and then I do the same thing. Uh, 
power goes down to the same amount. So yeah, so it is better to have it so that um, you're, pow you're, you're optimizing it as much as possible. Like I should get rid of that. Interesting, okay. Also, Okay, that doesn't get powered by that. No, it doesn't. Okay. I was trying something out. I wanted to see if it would work. Um, okay. I don't even know what we can really do with our tungsten. There's like a reinforced container over here. But... I just want to go for a tungsten wall. A large tungsten wall. Hopefully we can afford that soon. Um, we're going to need to... Get a tank fabricator as well. So let's... Do we have silicon production? We do. We have silicon production right here. So let's put this guy like right there. We have the silicone. Instead of going there, we can have it go out this way go into the tank fabricator and then we could have cliff crushers oh wait there's some graph oh wait there's resources down here how did i not realize that how have i been that oblivious to what's to the to these resources There we go. <laughs> I just did that so I could do that. Um, okay. I need a way of transporting the resources, though. Let's do this. Let's do it like this. And then I could put some these guys here. And we can do Oh, okay, never mind. Okay, hold on. Then we can do that. <laughs> Just for the sake of me doing that, I put that there. Yeah, actually, I want to do it like that. And have it go out this way. Up that way. And up like that. That and there we go. Okay, we're good. Now we can get a couple of cru of cliff crushers. Put some like in here. Nope, that's that spot. Wait, why do I have cliff crushers again? I don't know. These guys produce sand. What do I need more sand for? I don't need more sand. I need beryllium. What am I doing? That's a very good question. Not sure. Really not sure. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now the beryllium is going that way, going into there. Um, honestly, maybe we want to like connect up that. We can connect that up, and then maybe even connect this up, and then 
we could do some crazy stuff here and go like that and then have this, that there and have that branch off. Oh yeah, it needs power. I kind of forgot about that part. Okay, there we go. And now it's got power. Now it's going to start producing the tank fabricators. Let's get the tungsten wall. Oh wait, now there's a blast door? Okay. Wall that opens when allied ground units are in range cannot be manually controlled. That would actually be so nice. Okay. But... Let's have the output area be like up there. Um, we could even build. Let's let's honestly let's get a second one down. Why not? It doesn't hurt. Um, let's do that. Now we're gonna, we're gonna need to find a way to. Um, well, actually, I guess it's not that difficult. We just need to do that. There we go. Wait, why is that not? Oh, because it's connected there. Um, okay. Do that instead. Okay. Now we're good. I hope I hope that's producing enough. S okay, well now it's stuck on. My gosh. Um. Honestly, let's just do that. You're not gonna get stuck on anything, right? You're fine. Hopefully. Guess we'll find out. Game froze again. Guess it's not fine. Okay, we're good. Have you produced any units yet? No, not yet. Okay. You both are struggling a little bit when it comes to producing units. But that's fine. That's all part of the journey. I'm going to do that just to really ensure that it's almost a guarantee that it, it, it goes that way. Oh, no, that, like that, like that, like that. Just to, you know, really be sure <laughs> that the silicone does go, go into here before it reaches the core. So I only want extra to reach the core. I don't want if I if there's silicone that I need, I don't want it to to go first. Let's uh let's do that this part right here. This little section here. Let's put blast doors here. I think this will be a good spot to to have it. Now they just go through those blast doors. Dude, that is not a good spot for you guys to be in. I'm going to be completely honest with you. Okay, well, you guys can all just die. That's fine. I mean, this is enough to have two going. What about three? So, I, I'm feeling like having a third.
I mean, with how long it takes, I think it should be good enough. Grab some? I did not mean to grab some. Only core depositing allowed. Great. Okay. Well. Now how many we're up to? We're up to just ten. Okay. Well, you know what? Let's send these guys out. Stop going. Yeah, stop going in range of both. Just go in range of one of them. Destroy the the walls. And then you can get easier access to being able to destroy one at a time. He's almost destroyed. Come on. Come on, you guys can do it. You guys got this. Okay. Yeah, now destroy these walls. these guys up here yeah destroy the walls and then they can go around the back get behind the walls destroy these guys here let's just send them this way let's just Just send them in. Well, this is cool. Reinforced payload conveyor. That's pretty cool. Should end up destroying the core soon, though. I'm not sure how useful this payload converter or conveyor thing is though. Their structures are broken remnants of old bases that no longer function. We destroyed deconstructed four resources. Ah, so they all get turned into Daryl. Oh, it's gonna take so long to, dis to destroy everything. Let's just do that. Let's just build it. And then we can go back through and destroy everything. Okay. Just gotta get this. Oh, and this sector is captured? Is there no more enemy bases? Guess not. Oh my gosh, I wish things that if you're if it's a derelict like structure or whatever, I wish it would destroy a little bit faster. Because right now it's going extremely slow. I wish it went a little bit faster. We're probably max on tanks right now. Uh, maybe not. Hmm. 
me go check. How many tanks do we have? Um. Oh, now we're... Yeah, let me get rid of these, then. Because we don't need these anymore. The sector is captured. We don't need this stuff. So. We can just have all the silicone just... Go wherever it feels like going. Preferably into our core. Yeah, that's fine. That works. And the beryllium as well, since we don't need it to go into making those things anymore. So we can just send it, send all the beryllium up here. But yeah, I can just get rid of this. Whole part right here. Get rid of it. Have all the silicone just go, just dump into there. Now I do have a cap of only 4,000, so I should probably, oh, that's a, that's a hard place. not what I wanted. Let's, you know, connect all this stuff up. Do that. And do that. Okay, we're good. Do I do that? No, it doesn't quite work. But I want to do this anyways. Just because I think it looks nicer. Um, okay. Well, we don't need any more beryllium, we don't need any more graphite, we do need more tungsten, and we need more silicone. Um, let's send these guys to, like, areas that have been unexplored. Because I'm honestly not too sure what's over here. Absolutely nothing. Okay. No point in me doing that, then. Uh, there's more graphite. There's no more tungsten. So... All we really need right now... Is... Tungsten mining. Does that connect it all up? It indeed does. Okay. Nice. And let's get a couple more tungsten drills going. Now what's my power production at? Still going strong, surprisingly enough. Let's go with that. Oh, yeah, I forgot water. Water is a problem. Okay. Someone's going to get mad at me for using uh, bridges, conduit bridges. But I'm doing that to conserve water. Conserve the little bit of water that I have stored up in. In, uh, 
in those um, vent things inside the con uh, turbine condensers. So I do promise there is a method to my madness, even if it doesn't seem like it. Okay, now that that's connected, we can do that. I don't imagine I can just connect it up to there, can I? Does that work? Probably not. Yeah, that was not working. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Okay, there we go. So now everything that produces... Now everything that produces water is now fully hooked up and all the water that it produces is being extracted and dumped all down here and put into the impact. Let's see that. What's our power production at? It's still still going strong. I'm surprised. Then I get I I guess the impact drills don't use that much energy. 160 units per second. So I, I guess it's not that bad. It's just kind of taking up 160 per impact drill that I have down. Which isn't terrible. And I do need a lot of tungsten. More tungsten than I need anything else right now. I don't even need like as much silicone either. So silicone is kind of eh. Don't really need it. So honestly, I I'll, let me just let me finish it off right here. I don't not like that, guys. Okay, I don't mean to like finish it off like that. Okay, only on Fridays. Um, do that. And then we could have it like this. Then have that hook up to there. Oh wait, that already connects to it. Okay. That works. So this should... Yeah. So I think we have enough water production, right? Hopefully, maybe? Water is kind of... Slipping away, I think. Yeah, it kind of seems like water is slowly going down. Um, so you know what? This actually does call for a time where I can make use of a vent condenser. Let's do it. Although this doesn't really do anything for right here now, does it? Let's do that. Now that we have a water condenser here, we are losing out on power. Let's see, how much power are we losing out on? 180. Yeah, that, that does suck. Plus, the vent condenser uses 30. 
So we're actually losing out on about 210 power every time we put in a, a vent condenser instead of instead of just using a, a, a normal thing. Um. But I think it's probably going to end up being worth it. Let's just hook that up directly. Have that flow directly into there. Yeah, now the water per second is... Because, I mean, it is 30 water per second. So it's going to be good for, like, for the impact drills. But yeah, not for my power production. <laughs> not very good for that. Um, let's put... I hate doing it, but... Let's do it. Honestly, if it comes down to it, I could probably just get rid of some of my other things, like uh, like my plasma bores, because I don't need them anyways. Just to boost the production of the tungsten. Like I said, tungsten is what I need the most of. I don't need anything else. Um, let's just select the item from the block. Behind it, cannot unload from. So yeah, we need a lot of tungsten at this point in time. And... I have tungsten down here, which I could... Start mining up. Alright, yeah, let me just leave that there. Oh, I'm mad at it. I could do that, too. Actually, I'll probably just get rid of that and keep it this way. And I can get rid of that and put in a vent condenser. And I'm honestly, silicone, do I need, I need, I mean, I need graphite. I don't need beryllium. Beryllium is like useless at this point in time. Let's just get rid of it. Also, is this even connected to anything? No, it's not. So this vent, this turbine condenser right down here has not been connected to the power grid at all, I don't think. Maybe it was? Uh, it, I guess it might have been, but now it for sure is. And like I said, don't need any of this stuff. How much power am I saving? Actually, quite a bit. I'm actually saving on quite a bit of power. I can get rid of those. How much power is being saved? A little bit more. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think, I don't have anything going up here, other than my condensers. Oh, you know what? These drills aren't even really going. So, I'm going to need even more power. I don't know what I need more of right now. I don't know if I need more water or if I need more power. I might need more power. Which could be a bit of a problem. I guess we'll find out. What's my power? Yeah, power consumption's really high right now. 
Um. Gina, let's put a. Let's put like a cup. Honestly, just like one. Plasma four would probably be enough. I have two. Just so we do have some resources coming in, and I'm not just spending everything. probably gonna leave it here and just let the resources build up over time and I'll come back and do another one some other time but yeah for, I think for today I'm just gonna probably end it here um but yeah the, the game keeps freezing anyway so I mean whatever but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed today's video of Mindustry uh I can't wait to get a bunch of hate comments about what I'm doing wrong um and all the things that I could improve on is the water even flowing through here? Hold on. Yeah, it is. And these guys are getting enough water, too. Power production, though, is really low. Probably going to get rid of this guy and then put in a, put my turbine condenser back in. Just so I have a little bit more power generation. And I think I should be fine on water anyways, so we're just going to do it this way. Um, and while I'm at it, I can connect that back up. Just because these guys are going to be receiving enough. Never mind. Oh, it's because this connects to that. So if I do that... And these guys will get filled with water first. Then this thing will get filled with water. Okay. We're good. We're good. Now everything should be fine. Everything should have neutral. I mean, the power generation is pretty much neutral. Yeah. Basically neutral. Um, so, But yeah. So I can't wait to get all the hate comments or the things that I'm doing wrong and things I can improve on. Um, hopefully you guys can be a little bit merciful with me in the comment section and not get too mad at me for things that I've done today. But yeah, um, without further ado, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. It would mean the world to me. It doesn't cost you guys anything. And yeah, I hope to see you guys in the next one. You guys take care.